Who is this Admiral Croft? I met with him at the quarter sessions in Taunton. He's a, a native of Somersetshire who acquired quite a handsome fortune in the war and wishes to return here. Yes, but who is he? He is a rear admiral of the White. He was in the Trafalgar action and has been in the East Indies since. He has been stationed there, I believe, several years. Then I take it his face has both the colour and the texture of this macaroon. <laughs> <laughs> The Admiral is a little weather-beaten, to be sure, but not much. He is a, a married man, but without children. The house is never taken care of, Sir Walter, without a lady. And a lady with no children is the very best preserver of furniture in the world. Moreover, I have found that Mrs. Croft is herself not unconnected in this country. Oh? To whom is she connected? <laughs> She's the sister of a, a gentleman who lived among us once. What was his name? What at Moncton? Brother of Mrs. Croft. Bless me, what was his name? And you recall. It's Wentworth. Hmm? Wentworth. Hmm? Wentworth? That's right, Wentworth. He had the curacy of Monksford some time back. You'll remember him, I'm sure. Oh, Wentworth the curate. You misled me, Shepherd, by the term gentleman. Wentworth the curate's nobody. Quite unconnected. Nothing to do with the Strafford family. Well, said I something amiss. You remember father, the curate's brother. The same. Let us not pursue it. Please excuse me. The fire. I became overheated, that's all. I am satisfied. I empower you to proceed with the treaty. You may take possession at Michaelmas and Shepherd, with your consent. I wish to engage dear Mrs. Clay to reside with us in Bath. Oh. She will be a companion for Elizabeth. I can think of no higher privilege for my daughter, sir, than to accompany Miss Elliot in society. What about Anne? Is Anne not companion enough for you? Oh, Anne won't be coming, Lady Russell. I had a letter this morning from Sister Mary, who's indisposed, and requires Anne's company in Uppercross, until her health improves. And since no one will want you in Bath, I'm sure you'd better stay here. Information and entertainment awaits you on these shelves, Admiral. I confess I have not fully mastered it myself. Oh, the most comfortable room, Sir Walter. And thus we proceed to the dining room, Admiral. The second best silver will be at your disposal, Mrs. Croft. Instruct the servants to be civil to Admiral Croft, Anne. I declare, he's the best looking sailor I ever met. Indeed, if my own man might be allowed the arranging of his hair, I should not be ashamed of being seen with him anywhere. And I haven't had time to speak to the gardener, so here is the list of plants that are to the Lady Russell. And this is the list of books and music that I must have sent on to Bath. Then you'd better catalogue all the pictures and clear your rubbish out of the storeroom. And someone really ought to visit every house in the parish as a take leave. Does the Elliot way? I had a son. All this might one day have been his. Be what use you can to your sister Mary. Yes, Father. Mary Russell will set you up to Bath after Christmas. 